Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to Fabulous Friday. Today I wanted to show you my remade uh, idea book. If you recall, my previous idea book was a six by six set of black papers that I just kind of shoved together. It really was my first way of saying, hey, I don't want to forget what this idea is. Um, but as I've gone along, I've decided I wanted to do more. I, and I needed bigger pages. So what I have done is taken an old hymnal, gutted it, and that is my idea book. If you have seen me use this before, you know that it had a tassel on it. I took the tassel off because it was too bulky for this particular piece and I needed to do something different. And I haven't decided what yet, so at the moment my ribbon's just hanging there. So... You can tell on the side that originally I had two pieces of elastic here for the two signatures. Like I said, I've taken the one signature out. I have kind of coalesced it all into a single signature. And I think what I'm going to do eventually is sew the whole thing together. But uh, right now, it's just sitting there with a single piece of elastic. In the description box below, I have put links to a bunch of these ideas as we go through them. Uh, if you want to see how something is done, check out the link below. If you see something that I have not done a video for and you would like one, let me know in the comments. If there's a tutorial that you would like to see, put it in the comments. So this is the idea, the inside of my idea book. It is not fancy. This is simply stuck in with packing tape. There is nothing fancy about this because this is my idea book. So the first idea, of course, is this Regency fold um, that I did. And now I've tied this into a knot, trying to untie my bow. Oh, we'll do that later. So this is a Regency fold, and it's just a piece of paper that's folded up and made pretty so that you can write on it. And then I chose to do it in here. There, see, it just fell apart. The knot not the book. I chose to put it in here and tie it in, but you could just as easily slide it into a pocket or attach it to the page so that the, it just simply folds out from the page. But anyway, I just, I like that. Yes, the link to that is below. This little thing about Bob, and I've tried to put attributions wherever. This variegated, I call it a variegated pocket. I'm not sure what Marguerite Miller calls it, but it came from her and it's just basically, this is a single pocket. I could have made it two pockets. I chose not to. Um, but that's that one. Uh, over here, I have another version. Uh, this is kind of a little, uh, this is a little mini, um, I don't know, just, just a little mini pocket envelope. The pocket envelope is linked down below. And then this is a double flip with a pocket here and a belly band and a pocket here. And in this pocket, I threw one of my masterboard pieces so that I would remember that I could make mas make tags out of masterboards. There we go, we'll slide that back in there. This is a side pocket, double pocket. And in it, I put one of my little booklets out of scraps. And I thought, don't forget you have those. You've made a bunch of them. This is a bigger version of that little pocket envelope but with a fancy tie, and I put that in there so I wouldn't forget. The belly band is made of a quadruple folded book page and then decorated and put in. This is really kind of cool. This is just a folded over book page that makes a little pocket over here. I put one of my clusters on it. Um, I showed that I stamped on it. But I also put in it this particular tag. Now this tag came from Jacinta Ivers. She made this one for me. And I like the idea of using the corrugated cardboard for a backing. And I always forget that I can do that. So I keep that in there to remind me that I can do that. This is one type of waterfall. And yes, there is a link down below to waterfalls. This is the five-fold mountain pocket that I got uh, an idea from. So that's there's a, a video for that. Uh, I believe there's also a video for the folding tickets or folding um, 
journal cards. This is a stack and whack, and I put up there that I first heard that idea from Gail Agostinelli, so that's a stack and whack in there. And then these are index card journals, and yes, there's a link to those down below. Here's another waterfall, and yes, that's on that same waterfall video from before, as is this one. So there's three different kinds of waterfalls, and they're all in that one waterfall video. This is washi tape on cardboard to use as a hanging, hanging tag, and I don't remember who gave me this idea, what video I watched that gave me that. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, an attribution for this. The pocket paper clip comes from Carrie the Crafter. It is a paper clip with pockets, so therefore I pocket paper clip. And just slides over the top. Oh, I just lost my paper clip. Oh, right. we will worry about it later. This is another hidden paper clip that's also by Carrie the Crafter. This little journaling spot idea came from Natasha at Treasure Books. And of course, that's just a regular pocket, and I just stuck something in there so you could see it more easily. Um, and that Dahlia Fold, which is a recent video that I did, that came from Nancy Burt Priest. This is kind of a variation on the other fold. It just isn't an envelope. This one I just put in here, but you could slide it into a card. Um, I have recently done these clusters using just craft paper, uh, but I made a, this is out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper, and I, the video for that is down below. This is just a double pocket, and these, I haven't made a video on these. These are just pieces of uh, edges of out of, you know, that I've trimmed down off of lined paper, put a little doodad at the top of it, and made a little thing that can go into a pocket, just like this. And then this is a folding pocket. Currently undecorated, but that's okay. It's just in there to show. Big pocket on the side, nothing in it at the moment. And then a cluster that I made out of uh, tracing paper. I really like that idea of putting it on tracing paper. So that's there to remind me that that's there. So this side, now I have a, this is just a little uh, ticket that I made. And there, I think the video for that is down there. That's just a little pocket. This is another little pocket. And then this is a, I, I took these notes from one of Gail Agostinelli's videos on journaling. And um, basically the steps that she goes through and the tips for making a journal. And I wrote it down and I thought, I'm keeping that. I'm not getting rid of it. This is, idea came from Natasha at Treasure Books, and it makes a really nice um, collage in a book, or you can use it on a cover of a book, uh, a journal. It's really pretty. Fake stamps from Carrie the Crafter. Just a cluster idea, and obviously these came out of my little black book. And then the Pinwheel by Nancy Burt Priest. And this is a really crappy one, which is why it's in here, because I put my... my uh, cards that are my, my pieces. A lot of times my my uh, prototype goes into my idea book because it's not my best. I would certainly never put this into a journal that I'm selling. I would put the, the pinwheel in, but I would put it in a whole lot better made than this one. But this is just to show that it's there and don't forget that I have them and that I can make them. This is a five-fold pocket, one, two, three, four, five. Just all different places where the pockets are. That's a blank page. I still have some room to add some things. This, again, was an idea that came from uh, Natasha at Treasure Books, and I found it very useful when I was starting out. It was a formula that she put together on how to create a collage. And I thought that's wonderful because that shows me how to put it together. And then I put my directions, I had even printed them out, and I put them over here. And I have Natasha at Treasure Books, so you don't forget where they came from. Um, this particular page, this is layering journal cards from Carrie the Crafter. These are all different layers that you can put onto a journal card when you're trying to layer things up. Carrie's all about the layers, and I really like that. This is a four-fold envelope flip. 
There is space in every one of these. And I have just kind of put that in there like that. I have a chindi rug fabric flip to remind me that I have the chindi rugs and I shouldn't stop using them with a little bit of lace over the top of it. And then one, I also have a, a video on these. This is just an edging ma done making using uh, up squares. And that's the end of my book. So that's my hymnal. That's my, my hymnal. I'm reading it right off the front. This is my idea book. And I am going to be using this for a lot of things here uh, over the next couple of weeks as I make more and more journals. And when I get stuck for an idea, I could just flip through here. There are a few things that are not yet in here that I have to uh, make and put in here. But again, if you saw something and you said, boy, I wonder how she did that. I'd like a tutorial. Put a note in the comments and I'll be happy to do that. All right. I hope you're having fun on this fabulous Friday and I hope you have a great weekend. In the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.